We are back at the Maker Bean Cafe for another day of free 3D printed repairs. It is another beautiful summer day here in Toronto. It's 8.55 a.m., so let's get to it, come on. So, as part of uh, our wedding, my wife and I, we got a bunch of these umbrellas for our uh, wedding party, and they are kind of near and dear to you us. Already, got already got married, yeah, like eight years ago. So we've kept these in storage. This one here is is a good model. So it has this piece kind of on. Another one has lo lost its top piece, and we're just more or less looking for another one that might sit square on top. So you need like a bunch of these for the other umbrellas. I think just one. Yeah, oh, only okay. one other one has fallen off at this point. Well, I yeah. can make I can make multiple <laughs> in case we lose more. Yeah, that's <laughs> very doable. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get started. Man, you are a genius. I love it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> practice forward. makes perfect, like you said. <laughs> awesome, Marley. Here we go. First repair. Let's do it. dropping things. Um, basically just starting with the base and working way up. I think this is going to be a series of pretty simple shapes joined together. So sphere, cylinder, and then part of a sphere. So I think we can basically make it with three shapes and then hollow out the inside. I was going to say I've never seen you get more flack in the comments from when you estimated that a 360 degree circle needed about 35 10 degree wide notches. <laughs> never lived that down. So I'm gonna do a section analysis, just to make sure that's not too thin anywhere. Okay, so I wanna change this fillet so that it's deeper. So I think we want it more like, yeah, like that. I think it's gonna work great. Can you see me? Let's print it. <laughs> right. Ready for the moment of truth? Original. 3D printed. Oh, it's tight. That's pretty perfect. What? This is exactly like our original. And where is that? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. To a T, you modeled that. Oh, I Thank love you. it! And you know what? I'm actually happy we didn't do it in blue, and that way we can always tell which one was the original yeah. and which is the 3D printed one. We can tell people the story. Great job. Thank you so much. No problem. Try another happy, satisfied customer. Okay, great. So what do we got? My name's Morley, by the way. Mary. Hi. Mary, good to meet you. Well, this piece broke off. So that means the meal doesn't stay on. Okay. So this, I see. The thing I'm thinking about is like, if there was a part that went over, then it could still pull out. So I'm wondering what's keeping it like in, you know what I mean? Oh, you know, you know what? I think this whole thing is glued in because this doesn't rotate. So what I think, I think I can fix it. I think we need like a part to go on the top and then I can epoxy this back into place, 3D print that part and then glue this in. And I think that should work sometime this afternoon, hopefully within the next couple hours. Send you a text. Okay, thank you, bye. So her problem is that the wheel snapped off of her vacuum. So it's held in this mount here, same thing on the other side. So this axle was originally captive in here and the wheel rotates around the axle. I was planning to 3D print a replacement piece to go in here, epoxy them together and then epoxy the axle in place. But I looked at the little bag she gave me and I just realized that she also gave me the plastic piece that snapped off. So I think what I'm gonna do is just epoxy this in, maybe sand it down so it's a nice fit, epoxy the axle in place, and we should be good to go. Don't even need to do any 3D printing. So I'm just using my ice pick to scrape out the old glue. Make sure that we get a nice strong epoxy joint and just sanding the old glue off of this piece. While the epoxy cures, I'd like to give a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to explore their creativity. From Fusion 360 and 3D printing to coding, video editing, and more, Skillshare has classes that match your goals and interests. I spend a lot of my time coming up with ideas and bringing them to life. 
So when I was browsing Skillshare this week, I was really excited when I stumbled across Creativity in Action, 10 Challenges to Make Ideas Happen by Esteban Gast. A couple months ago, I took a different class by Esteban and I got a lot of value out of it. So I decided to take this one as well and I was not disappointed. It's a pretty quick class, only about an hour and a half, but I found so much inspiration in doing the 10 challenges. Some of the challenges help with brainstorming, some of them help you make unexpected connections, but I think as a whole, the title of this class sums it up best. These 10 challenges really do help make ideas happen. Join Skillshare today and take your creativity to the next level. Explore their extensive collection of online classes risk-free by joining with my link. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now let's go see how that repair turned out. Well, I already know how it turned out. Let me show you how it turned out. So it was good. I didn't realize until after you left that you actually had the plastic piece. So I was able to epoxy that back into place. I wouldn't vacuum with it today, like I mentioned, but maybe wait until tomorrow for it to have its full strength, but it's working for now. And I hope it holds up. I think it should. <laughs> At least get a little more life out of it. Well, here's your vacuum. No problem. You. A little bit of Turkish delight. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like it. It's fresh from Greece. Wow, thank you so much. Thank That's so you. nice. I, don't know. I feel like I'm straight out of Narnia. Mmm. <laughs> the rose water flavor is always a little like surprising, but it's fine. Do you want to try it? Sure. What happens? Well, he gets given candy by the evil witch and then yeah. taken to her gets, palace. It's actually like we're about to get kidnapped by an ice cream. Mmm. Mmm, this it, one's mint. It's not mint, I just thought it was mint because it was green. It's like... Pistachio? No, 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 no. Time. This is the best part of the day so far. <laughs> well, you know when you're a kid, they're like, don't accept candy from strangers. Yeah. And then when you're an adult, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> this is not a recommendation to take candy from strangers. No. <laughs> don't try this at home. But she wasn't a stranger, she was a new friend. Yes, candy from a new friend. Candy from a new friend. Okay, what do we think this one is? Orange. Okay. Yeah, orange. 100% orange. 100%. I just didn't want to like alter your that's, experience. That's, that's my favorite. Orange is my favorite. That was so yummy, thank you. I tied the fault to my keychain because this little bit ring here, it broke. So um, I was wondering if you might be able to like put something on it with a ring uh, so I can attach it back onto the key ring. Would that be possible, do you think? Like, yeah. Is it like an RFID tag? You buzz in the door with it? Exactly, okay. yeah. And like, uh, it's it's got a pretty strong signal. So even with a bit of like uh, filament on it, it should be just fine. Okay. I have something in mind. Yes. Do you mind if I hold on to it or do you? Oh no, yeah, you can hold on okay. to it 100%. And in terms of like a ring, how much would you charge for this? Oh, I'm not gonna charge. This part of, it's part of this. Oh, you sure? Yeah, it's free 3D printed repairs. Well, yeah. I really appreciate it. No problem. This 99% isopropyl alcohol is one of the most useful things I have. Maybe next to masking tape. I might leave the rest of this residue for Eden to pick off because I think she's going to find it really satisfying. So this was taped to another keychain and I was starting to take the tape residue off but I left some of it on it for you because I thought you might find it really satisfying to peel off. Is that true love? <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. I have things to do. <laughs> do you want to tell me about the uh, fix idea you had for me? Yeah. Okay, so I have this keychain that I like a lot, but my boyfriend doesn't like very much. Oh, your, your mom keys that have the huge lanyard on them. Yeah, they're always getting caught in things, and I'm afraid one day I'm going to get like whiplash so my keys get caught in a door. Anyway, so I would like you to print me a new keychain. I want it to be a heart. And I want it to have the letters A, P, and M in it. Aviva Philip Muller? Oh, true. Okay, maybe M, A, P. Morley Abby Penny. Yeah, Morley Abby Penny. Do you want it in pink? Okay. <laughs> she said like that wasn't her plan all along. All right, so for the RFID tag, I basically made a clamshell that's gonna go around it. So it'll be super strong, and then I made a thumb cutout, and we're printing it vertically, so we should be good with zero support material. So each half will take 46 minutes to print out of PETG. We'll clamshell it around this, and I think that'll work really well. Oh, 
All right, so the PETG finish is a little rough, but we'll be able to clean that up nice with sanding. This is five minute epoxy. Be careful not to get too much near the hole because I don't want to block the hole. Drop this in. Oh, just got epoxy in my finger. Since we printed this standing up, it was nice that it had no support material, but the downside is that the mating faces aren't super flat. I tried sanding them down flat a bit, but at the end of the day, it's just not gonna be as seamless of a fit as if we printed these like that. So, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off, but you live and you learn. Put this on top. Oop. Beautiful. Good, so what I basically did was I designed a, like a clamshell to go around the RFID tag, and so it's in there. It's wild, it looks like it's made out of stone. <laughs> That's good, I'm glad you like the look. That's so sick. Like, I mean, I know you're, I know you're legit, but this looks <laughs> legit, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Man, that's so that's so awesome of you. Like it was really last minute, but no, it was great. It ended up being. I think it's gonna be like a really cool part of the video because it's probably one of the most complex designs I did today. Part of me wonders, like, I kind of want to stick this in the laser cutter and engrave initials on it now. I mean, like, go for it. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for it. No problem. So kind. Okay. What do you think's better, that P in the corner or the A in the corner? Uh, I think the P looks better because like the curl links up with the curl there and matches. Ooh, this looks really good. So this is PETG printing on top of PLA, so it might be a little janky, but I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't work, I can use the white PLA that I have at home. Did you, did you use my project as an experiment? No, I just didn't have, I don't have any white PLA here. The only PLA that I brought is the pink PLA. <gasps> it's oh, it's so cute and little. Oh, it's so lopsided, I love it. That is pretty cute. I think with a little bit of sanding, that would look beautiful. And this is a sanding job worth watching. Uh, you know what? Okay, so the PETG is coming off. It just doesn't bond to the PLA. So when I go back home, set this back up, first thing I'm going to print is a proper Abby Penny Morley keychain. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eden looks very sad. Are you going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> yeah, the, P, the, the PETG just doesn't bond to the PLA. So it was, a, it was an experiment, but... Okay, great, because I have some improvements I'd like. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have this pair of sunglasses. Yeah. And you can see, okay. okay. You can see that there's like that silver piece. Sorry, he's ruining the idea. And then that fell out on the other side. So now this doesn't, it's like it's too big on that side. Oh, now. this metal piece. Yeah, exactly. So you basically need like a rectangle exactly. to fill it in. Okay. Exactly. We're uh, just about to do another fix. Someone brought in Ooh. sunglasses. And so this little piece is missing. Am I not on? There you go. Just put them out. <laughs> so basically this little piece is missing. So yeah. you're trying to replace it on the other side. So it's a okay. tiny little piece. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Terrified of that stuff. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Was that like a 30 second print? Yeah, I think that was under a note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, so it's just this tiny little. Yeah. I don't even know if it's worth spray painting. Like, I'm afraid that if I spray paint it, it's gonna like fly away because it's so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where did it go? Uh oh. This happens all the time. Is it under the laptop? That's a really common spot. Good thing it only took 30 I, seconds yeah, to I could print. Immediately print another laptop. <laughs> it's like reason number eight we only have to have a clean workspace. So when you yeah. lose your tiny 3D printed piece. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, wow. There we go. Yes. This is not my full time. It's not the most efficient thing in the world, but. Oh, it's so small. I think that's good. Wow, these are nice sunglasses. <laughs> I saw these, they said Prada on them, and I was like, oh, better not mess this up. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It looks great. Wow. <laughs> I didn't end up spray painting it because the piece is so small, yeah. but it worked pretty perfectly. It looks awesome. Do you want to try them on? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, I was happy with how well it works. That looks incredible. That's awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. That's really, really you're so welcome. What's your dog's name again? Moisha. Moisha. Yeah. Moisha. Yeah. <laughs> Moisha. Yeah. Hi, Moisha. Hi. Moishi. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're so cute. Have a good rest of your weekend. You Thank too. Thank you. Bye. Yes.
All right, day is done. Round two, I would say big success. I was a little scared in the morning because it took a little while for people to start coming in. Um, you know, it's a Saturday. Some people are having a lazy start to the day, totally fine. Um, but throughout the day, I think we had an awesome variety of repairs, amazing reactions, had some great conversations with fans and people who were curious about 3D printing as well. I think part of the reason why I was a little slow in the morning was it was hot today. I don't know if you can tell how sweaty I am right now, but uh, probably should have worn shorts. Yeah, I think a lot of people were just like in the AC in inside today and they weren't as walking around. Oh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Because it was so hot today, a lot of people were just like chilling inside their apartments on a Saturday. But yeah, throughout the day, we got an awesome mix of repairs. It was so much fun. I was really happy with how that went. Dang it, did I go the wrong way? Yeah. All right. But first, I have to make your keychain correctly this time. Correctly, yeah. Mappa. Mappa. <laughs> Doesn't it look so nicer cute. than the last one? Yes, it does, because the letters aren't falling off. <laughs> so, low bar, far surpassed it. <laughs> it's awesome, thank you. Can I put my keys on it? Yeah, go for it. Alright, let me show the people. Her little sliding paws. Here, hold your, when you show me, hold your keys so people don't steal your identity. Like this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Now no one's gonna steal our car or break into our apartment. Here, they now, can have now they can. This key. Ooh, what does this key do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I love like how subtle the color is. Mm -hmm, me too. It's very classy. It's a perfect size. Awesome. All right. Well, have fun at work. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Morley again. Before I go, I just wanted to give a big thank you to my top supporter on Patreon, my mom, Kathy Kurt. To learn more about Patreon and gain exclusive access to the behind the scenes Instagram page, head on over to patreon.com slash MorleyKurt. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. All right, I'm gonna actually make sure I hold it like visible this time. And there's a car behind Eden that's trying to go around here. All right, the light just turned green, so give it a second. We, we need to wait another round. So I think next time I'll just wait for the red light. Amos ran right into that person.